Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to make one of these. It is a travel journal. This is one that I have made already. I've still to insert the little goodies in the pockets like paper clips or bookmarks or things but I've shown these before and I have got four different types of notebook and the covers of each. These can be replaced at any time but I thought this would be my make for today. Um, I have a range of envelopes and pockets in it. It is in a laminated cover that you simply use the elastic round. So this is my make for today and I've already prepared some of the things here. So for this one I have laminated the cover. The score lines are already in the card when you cut the card and score it. So we just have to reinforce those score lines by folding. And um, that's it. Now I use my Cropodile. Uh, I love this machine. And in here there are three fold lines. And so I'm just going to insert the smaller hole and I've changed the guide so that they're all even. And we simply punch the three holes the same distance from the edge at both ends of the cover. Didn't do that one properly. Now, I have a lot of these. Um, this box of rings I got in a charity shop, believe it or not. So I have picked out some to go on here. These tiny little rivets. I don't know what you call them. And so they simply go in the hole. You don't have to use these. I use them because it adds a different colour and it is uh, just a nice little extra. But you don't have to use these to uh, reinforce the rings. And of course, I'm trying to manipulate them. There we go. I just think it gives it a more finished look, to be honest. And also, I'm hoping it makes it slightly more hard wearing. One of the things I also do um, is that I've noticed that sometimes where you fold, the laminate pouch will raise, it'll lift off a bit. So I put this through the laminator twice, always, um, just to make sure that it doesn't start to come off where, uh, where the folds are. And um, we'll just do this. And then I'll show you how to thread it. Now the elastic that I use is actually, it's called hat elastic. Um, the first lot I got out of Daniel Mill uh, and I'd actually wanted to go to the shop to specifically find the right thickness. I'd ordered stuff online and when it came, it just wasn't right. It was too thin. So the trick is to look for something called hat elastic and that is really what you want to use. Popped out, there we go. Okay, so I'll just show you. This is the one I bought online. This is the elastic I got online and it's really... I mean, it was cheap and cheerful, but I just thought it was elastic. But it's 
so thin, look, so thin and stretchy. And so, yeah, that isn't good. And I thought about trying to double it over or twist it or what have you, but it's too elasticy. Um, this is the hat elastic. So, in order to thread this, we want all the strings to be in the middle, inside the book. So, we are threading always through from the outside cover to the inside cover and then coming from the inside to the outside. So you do this along all three like this. Now, when you look at it from the outside, you will see that there is one loop going through and the other one's blank. So we want to just create another loop and put that in. Come on, just being stubborn today. Well, I don't know if it's this or the, me that's being stubborn today. Come on. There we go. Now, we want this to make a fourth binding. So I'm just going to cut this with scissors so that I can poke this through. So now on the outside you've got like two stitches and it's much neater having that on the uh, outside. Also of course this is where you can put your uh, embellishments if you want to have a little dangle ornament here. So we have got three full strings inside. We want to pull them so that they're pretty tight. Okay. This one isn't quite tight enough yet. And then we're going to tie this one in the middle. And that becomes the fourth uh, holder for the books. So quite tight. Um, you don't want it to be very loose or the books won't hold firmly. So, yeah, quite tight. So just two or three knots and then snip the ends away. Like that. Okay, now, you can, if you like, as in this one, I have put a central strap here. And this is simply taking your pokey tool and making a hole in the middle and then sticking it through. Um, but you can also use different fasteners. Um, we have some little poppet clips that would clip there or you could put the little poppers on either end that you could actually clamp this so that it clips closed. So the next thing to do is to insert the notebooks. So on with this paper, I've got, they're kind of abstract. They're not too, um, sort of, they've got to be in a certain direction. Um, this is always, I always use double-sided DSP. I always put the corner rounders inside on these ones. So we take the notebooks. Now, I have got four notebooks. I get them from Amazon um, and I use the different insides just to make it uh, something nice. So we're just going to slip that into an elastic and then do the same with the others.
So originally for travel journaling, um, but I love making these. I absolutely love making them. I think they're great gifts. I think that um, for people who like to plan things, whether it's a, a party or a holiday or anything like that, it's a great it's a great handy thing to have. You can carry it in your handbag. Um, it's not too bulky. Um, this is the third one in. And let me just do the corners on here. So I'm kind of using up the extra last few pages of the 12 by 12 DSP books that I've got. This is just uh, using up these last bits of 12 by 12. And so they all do coordinate, they all go together. Um, but it's not enough for a big project or anything. Okay, so that's them in. Now, I also have got um, various pockets. So, so you'll see on this one, I have pockets. Normally, as I say, I put I like putting post-it notes in, uh, embellished paper clips and things like that. One of the tips I would say is that if you have an open pocket like this one, always have the opening in pointing to the inside. Uh, don't have the pointing it to the outside, otherwise things could fall out. Um, so for this one, I have made just a couple of things that we can put in. So this is going to be just a case of deciding where you want them to be. And so it's not difficult. Uh, I just measure the pocket and then increase half a centimeter allowance for the um, glue or the tape. Um, as I say, this will be like a bookmark that will go in there. Um, this is an envelope that I have put a Velcro dot on, so this needs to go in on a cover. Um, so what we're looking for, hopefully, is for people to use these like planners to store receipts or tickets or ideas. That one goes in there. And that's your envelope and then this is just another pocket and in order to show them that it is a pocket that's when I put things in there so that they can see um, generally I like to put at least one storage on each um, section of course you can go and put much more in but I just wanted to show you the basic idea here. Put a pocket in there. Stick it down. And there you go. So these are my uh, versions of the Traveller Notebooks. I think that they're great fun to make. I think they make great presents. I did price it out. So the notebooks that I get on Amazon, I get packets of 10. They're Rhino, R-H-I-N-O, and they each have, they've got four different styles. They maybe have more, but I just buy the four. And you get a pack of 10. So if I use one of each, and then I looked at how much it was, say, for the laminating pouches and elastic, and I reckon that this costs me roughly three to four pound to make. Um... And I think it's a great thing. So I'm going to um, keep going with this. I just need to find, I'll maybe do another little envelope. I quite like the tie envelope style that we have here. This is quite a nice one to do. Um, it's a bit of faffing, you know, getting holes and circles and brads and things, but it does give a nice finish. So I think I'll go and make one of these for this new one that I've just made. 
And so that's my make for today. I hope you enjoy it. And um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. Thanks. Bye.